Falk. Jimmy Graham, everyone. Woo! Have any guys ever been able to look at somebody and just immediately be able to tell that their mom didn't have an orgasm when she got pregnant with them? <laughs> if, you guys, if you guys can't tell, uh, if you guys wanna know what it looks like when a mother doesn't have an orgasm, this is what it looks like, this is it. Five foot seven, can't run fast, can't jump high. One time I had to have an ex-girlfriend of mine break the lug nut on a flat tire because I'm a weakling. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm not even 100% convinced that my dad had an orgasm. <laughs> I, uh, tell me if you guys agree with me on this. I feel like if at any point in your life, if you're able to beat up uh, your mom or your dad, like the person that brought you into the world, you should then immediately become the parent. <laughs> Just try it out next time. Next time, go home and be like, hey, what's up, Dad? How's it going? Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm Dad now. <laughs> you go to bed. <laughs> Do your homework. You shower with me until you're 13 years old. See if I care. <laughs> Anybody in here dating? You guys daters? Huh? Yeah, I'm dating now. Dating in 2016 is basically me just beginning and ending every text message with ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Dating's rough. I've dated uh, this, especially in a town like this. This town's so small. I've dated like nothing but hairstylists, I found out. <laughs> Come to find out if your name's Megan and you cut hair, I've probably been inside of you. Um, <laughs> It sucks, man. I can't get a good haircut in this town. <laughs> Do it myself, looking in the mirror. Guys, keep it going for, uh, there's a couple people that I want you guys to keep it going for. This is a really cool thing that they got going on here, but there are some people that I think need some acknowledgement. And first and foremost, I would like you guys to put your hands together for the real heroes out there. And I'm, of course, talking about all those strip club DJs out there that are still playing Marilyn Manson on a nightly basis. <laughs> Welcoming to the stage, Willow! <laughs> like, that guy has never changed. It's the same guy at every strip club. His name's Manny. He sits back there. It's like, we're all stars now. Keep it going for the 13-year-old boy. I saw Chipotle today with a neck tattoo. That was cool. That kid was amazing. It was almost like he knew where he's destined to work for the rest of his life. <laughs> I like Chipotle. I, I like I go there more now, even after because after they uh, started poisoning people, <laughs> there's just no lines, and I value convenience over anything. Um, seriously, man, I've I've gotten I have no shame, man. I, I I did this at Chipotle one time. You guys could totally do this, and you can do this at, in any aspect in your life. If anybody like you don't you don't have to do anything. Like, nobody can make you do anything as long as you're just willing to die at any point. Uh, and I realized that shit, so one time they were making me a burrito at Chipotle, and I just walked out in the middle of it. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't want it. That's what every ex-girlfriend has done to me. <laughs> I'm weird, man. I'm real weird. I'm getting a little bit older, and like I feel myself getting crazier. When I get... Usually when I get crazy, I get, uh, there's like a couple things will happen. The first thing that, that I know, like when I'm getting manic, is I'll start to come up with small business ideas. And then I, uh, <laughs> I just start, they just start popping up in my head and then I just bounce them off all my friends like I'm on Shark Tank constantly. 
Ask any of these kids, man. There's a, there's a few of them that I want to just see if anybody in here is uh, uh, willing to drop some money on. First one is a drive through Italian restaurant that's just called Fuck You. <laughs> I haven't thought too much into it, but I already can picture the logo. It's written out in spaghetti and meatballs. You guys are like, what? How do you do? How do you do Italian to go? Spaghetti in a cup, all right. <laughs> Let's workshop. And all right, how about this one, guys? Uh, fleshlights, <laughs> fleshlights for dogs. <laughs> that one's a rough one. That one. The, the, a lot of people get weird about that because we love our dogs. Everyone loves their dogs, and uh, you know, some people get weird. They're like, dude, you can't do that, man. And I'm like, who are you to take? Uh, your dog's sexuality away from him, you monster. <laughs> Be brilliant, man. Let your dog do it. And I brought that up to my friends, and uh, one of my buddies looked at me, and he's like, Jimmy, you know people are going to fuck those things, right? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, of course, duh. Who am I to tell you that you can't do that? And that got me going even more crazy, and I did a little bit of digging. This is 100% true. Uh, I urge you guys to Google this, preferably at work. Um, <laughs> Bestiality in the state of Ohio is 100% legal. <laughs> Did you know that? She's like, yeah, I know that. That's why I choose to live here. Uh, <laughs> she's like, mm, never gonna leave. Uh, it's 100% legal, and there has been one senator, I forgot his name, his name's Jim something, and he's been trying unsuccessfully for six years <laughs> to get legislation passed to ban bestiality in the state. Six years unsuccessfully. <laughs> Which means one of two things. Either that guy has been such a dick his entire career, just voting against gay marriage and school levies. He's like, no, block, block, block. That one... <laughs> When all the other legislators are sitting there, they're like, you know what, Jim? I know this is your passion project, but fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> Either that or this guy is just like, he's got a dog at home and he just can't help himself. <laughs> but he's so true to the law. He's just like, I need a law or I can't stop sucking my dog's wiener. <laughs> I can't help myself. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Jimmy Graham. Have a good night.